Hello students, welcome to the EPG Patshala. I am Dr. Rashmi Sharma, Head of the Department OBNHR, Lal Bahadur Shastri Institute of Management, Delhi. Today, we will learn the module Managing Diversity. This module is from the paper Contemporary Issues in HRM and Future Trends. We will introduce the concept of diversity, what are the advantages of a diverse workforce, diversity issues at workplace, steps in managing diversity, total quality diversity model, and some examples of diversity inclusion. We will be understanding the nuances in adapting the diversity policies, manage diversity at workplace, and overcome the issues. Diversity in the true sense means that each individual is unique. It encompasses acceptance and respect along with recognizing the individual difference in the dimensions of race, ethnicity, gender, sexual orientation, socio-economic status, age, physical abilities, religious beliefs, political beliefs or other ideologies. Let us first understand what exactly is multiculturalism. Multiculturalism embodies a new orientation towards the future. What makes a company multicultural are its seven P's. That is perspective, policies, purposes, programs, personnel, practices, power. There are four basic imperatives towards diversity. That is the dynamic of affirmative action, which reflects the heterogeneity of the workforce and the community. Second, the dynamic of valuing the differences are sensitive to the needs of the various groups comprising the workforce and the community population. Third, the dynamics of managing diversity that is incorporating the contributions to the overall mission of the business. Fourth, the dynamic of living diversity, that is creating a cultural and social ambience that is inclusive and empowers all groups in the corporation. Let us now understand what exactly are the advantages of multiculturalism. Although the transition to a multicultural workplace could result in issues for workers and their employers, multiculturalism at the workplace provides many advantages that can actually help a company prosper. In managing diversity, cultural awareness is of paramount importance. It helps in creating a sense of cultural awareness amongst workers. Employees who are exposed to others' ideas and point of view will still learn to think outside the box when faced with a problem. Once exposed to the belief of someone whose ideas seem alien to him or her, he or she can begin to reflect on the narrowness of the world's view and how it adversely affects his or her ability to think and solve problems. Multiculturalism helps the companies to create a workforce with a larger social network than just one ethnic group since they have a strong culturally diverse workforce. This can help in generating the interest for products and services in many other ethnic communities within the larger community. Employees exposed to different viewpoints and cultures in the office or workplace are usually more likely to practice toleration. These employees are also more likely to cooperate with one another or reach a compromise when differences exist. Knowledge Employees who become aware of the culture of others in the workplace may want to learn more about that culture. A curiosity about someone else's culture can lead 
to a lifelong or a short term pursuit of learning. Diversity is an ongoing process that unleashes the various talents and capabilities of a diverse population within an organization, community or society so as to create a wholesome, inclusive environment that is safe for differences, celebrates diversity, enables people to reject rejection and maximize the full potential of all in a cultural context where everybody benefits. Let us now understand what are the advantages if we have a diverse workforce at place. Creativity increases when people with different ways of solving difficult problems work together towards a common objective. The heterogeneous groups are cross fertilizing one another within the organization and bringing in more creative ideas and solutions and techniques. Productivity increases exponentially when people of various cultures work together towards a single inspiring goal. Employers can offer more solution to the customers because of the new ideas and processes that are brought into the organization. The new attitudes brought to the business table by people from diverse culture, for example, Americans may want to consider adopting the perspective other cultures have about time. Our culture believes that time is money and getting to the bottom line is paramount in business, but we seldom follow it. Language skills are obviously needed in today's increasingly global economy and diverse workforce often have this kind of proficiency. If a company needs specific knowledge or language skills, it may hire foreign nationals for help. In some markets, international job seekers have the advantage. New processes can result when people with different ideas come together and collaborate. In today's fast moving world, there is no longer a room for thinking. American workers may bring multiple skills to the environment, think cross-culturally and adapt quickly to the new situation. Positive reputation The job seekers are drawn to companies with diverse workforces because it is evident that the companies do not practice employment discrimination. Potential employees want to know that employers treat their staff fairly regardless of race, ethnicity or gender. Let us understand the various diversity issues. Diversity in the work environment promotes acceptance, respect and teamwork. Companies that overcome certain diversity issues are often able to achieve greater productivity, profit and company's morale. Respect in the workplace is a key component. This helps in achieving a favorably diverse workplace in establishing teamwork and mutual respect among the staff members. Acceptance of individuals differences is essentially in creating a productive work environment. Acceptance leads to respect and ultimately opportunity. Conflict among employees become inevitable when prejudice, racism, 
discrimination and a lack of respect creeps into a work environment. If not distinguished in a timely manner, this can turn explosive or even violent. Businesses who provide a diversified work environment and provide sufficient diversity training often reduce or eliminate such occurrences. Lifestyle Acceptance Though one's personal life should typically not affect their job performance, however, at times, the lifestyle acceptance becomes an issue in the workplace. Unfortunately, even though many employers now provide extended benefits to alternative lifestyle partners, sometimes gay and lesbian workers experience disrespect and discrimination from their co-workers. Ethnic and cultural differences are to be understood as well. It is often noticed that some individuals harbour unfair prejudice against people of different colours, cultures, ethnicity or religion than their own. Such prejudice cannot and should not be tolerated in the workplace and should be dealt within a firm and a prompt manner. Firm company policies and appropriate training would help build acceptance and respect amongst a well-diversified employee body. Gender is one of the oldest and most common diversity issue in the workplace, that is, men vis-a-vis -vis women. Over the years, a new element in the disputes over equal pay an opportunity is the transgender employee. Harassment is an issue in a diversified work environment, but should absolutely never be tolerated. Recognizing harassment is a key in preventing and eliminating discrimination from the workplace. Even the slightest comment made in a jest can be considered as harassment if any, even remotely vague, any racial, sexual or discriminatory connotation is made. For example, I love Asian women or we should have hired a man comes under the category of harassment. Communication Even when no prejudice exists among employees. A diversified workplace can bring about certain communication issues. Hiring immigrants who speak little or no English can reduce productivity by creating a communication barrier among team members. Employing some form of communication training and hiring sufficiently bilingual workers helps to encourage and improve staff interaction. Generation gap crops up in a large diversified corporations. Staffs are often made up of workers who range in age from teenagers to senior citizens. Inevitably, generation gap can become an issue and the age difference can trigger clashes and separation of the company as a unit. Bridging the gap between multiple generation of workers can sometimes become an issue for employers attempting to establish a teamwork. Disabilities Unfortunately, Workers who are mentally or physically disabled are sometimes encountered with discriminatory behavior from insensitive co-workers. In some cases, employers innocently overlook a handicapped worker needs such as ramps or special needs equipment. Creating a fair and comfortable work environment for disabled employees is important in a diversified workplace. Consistency 
is a primary concern. Diversity training and practices are not just a course or exam that an employee is supposed to take. Consistency and a daily practice of company behavior policy is essential in molding a positive and a productive workplace. Steps in managing diversity Diversity in the workplace is important for running a successful business. Your workforce, your customer and your markets are increasingly diverse. To promote the individual and organizational success, you must welcome diversity and manage it well. We must emphasize on communication. Organizations should ensure that all the employees understand their policies, procedures, safety rules and other important information. They should work to overcome the language and cultural barriers. They should have key materials such as safety, information, translated when possible and use pictures and symbols on warning signs so that everybody can understand. Viewing employees as individuals is the second aspect. Positive and negative stereotypes both should be avoided. There should not be any assumption regarding the employees from different groups. The success and failure should be judged individually. Organizations should respond promptly and firmly when an employee expresses prejudice or stereotypes and also reminds them of the policies that prohibit discrimination. Encouraging employees to work in diverse group is the next aspect. Organizations should assure that work teams reflect the diversity of their workplace. Diverse work teams let the employees get to know and value one another as individuals. They also help in expanding the experiences and the views of all the workers on the team. Next, base decisions on the objective criteria. Each and every employee from all the backgrounds should be asked to meet the required standard and perform to the best of their ability. There should not be any different criteria for different groups. Management should focus on the job related issues and not the personal issues when dealing with employees. We should be open minded, recognizing and encouraging the employees to recognize that one's own experience, background and culture are not the only ones with value to the organization. Management should set an example of encouraging the diversity by developing relationships with colleagues whose background differs from theirs. Now let us understand what are the probable consequences if we ignore diversity at workplace. Ignoring diversity issues can cost a lot of time, money and efficiency. It can create unhealthy tension between people of different gender, age, ethnicity, abilities etc. It may result in loss of productivity due to increased conflict, inability to attract and retain the talented people of all kinds complaints and legal actions, inability to retain women and people of color resulting in loss of investment in recruitment and training. Considerations and warnings that are to be focused upon. As a workplace becomes much more diverse, employers are encouraged to take note of communication, training recruiting practices and management. Diverse workforce may be plugged with problems if employees aren't equipped with the knowledge they need to communicate effectively with their co-workers regardless of their differences. Diversity training can help in reducing the interpersonal conflicts within a company. As a result of efforts to train employees on diversity issues, management may see 
an increase in training and development cost. Now let us understand the model of structural change for total quality diversity. Managing diversity should be a comprehensive holistic process for managing the differences that the people bring for the productive well-being of all, especially the firm and its goal. A holistic model of managing diversity recognizes its two dimensions that is the primary or the horizontal and the secondary or the vertical. These differences have the potential of giving rise to conflict, but if managed well can result in a synergistic unity. The first dimension focuses on the individual that is the horizontal dimension which is concerned with embracing and valuing the differences. This area is of tremendous importance since staff and administration that do not get along nor understand each other are not able to maximize their greatest potential for optimal excellence. The second dimension is the vertical dimension which is concerned with harnessing and empowering diversity. It is the area that deals with corporate culture and structure. The way tasks are divided to accomplish the mission of the company along with the thinking system. This dimension holds the key to effecting the greatest change in a company for it is here where exclusion find it most comfortable at home. Now let us have a look at some of the examples of diversity and inclusion at workplace. Honeywell International Inc. has a diversity which is world known. Although Honeywell's corporate governance guidelines do not define a specific diversity policy or standard, the board is committed to enhancing both the diversity of the board itself and the perspective and values that are discussed in the board meetings. At Honeywell, the leadership teams and employees are assessed annually on their ability to foster diversity and teamwork to make the company's work environment much more productive, dynamic and positive. Let us see the diversity initiative taken by Honeywell for its women. Women's Council in 2012 Honeywell established the Women's Council to derive projects that are focused on the development and retention of female leaders. In 2014, Honeywell initiated the Aerospace Women's Council. It formed this council to promote professional and leadership development among its female employees through cross-organizational engagement in events and activities that support the company's business objectives. The best practices on gender diversity related issues are taken care as part of Honeywell's Aerospace membership on the Society for Women Employees. The Corporate Partnership Council the company shares the best practices for the retention of female employees and other gender diversity issues at various discussion forums. Other diversity initiatives taken by Honeywell are Law and Government Relations Diversity Council. This council focuses on developing, retaining 
and attracting a diverse talent in legal and government relations. Veterans Initiative was taken in 2011 in support of US President Barack Obama's initiative to encourage private companies to hire and train more military veterans. As part of this initiative, the company extended its recruitment efforts to include a target job placement goal of at least 500 veterans in 2011 across the company's business units. Let's take an example of the Walt Disney Company. Walt Disney has a Disney Corporate Diversity Council which is led by the chairman and the CEO Robert A. Iger that includes senior leaders from each division of the company. The company's diversity motto is, we aspire to inspire together. Disney also ties executive pay with meeting the diversity related goals. Disney's CEO sign off on an executive pay tied to diversity is 11.1% higher than the top 10 companies and 22% higher than the top 50 companies of diversity. This forms it to be a leading company for diversity. The company considers diversity as a pillar of its growing strategy and strives to achieve diversity in its content, products, attraction and other entertainment offerings. There are different diversity initiatives that have been taken for women. Global Workplace and Women's Initiative, which is chaired by Disney's EVP and Chief Human Resource Officer, Mary Jane Parker. This executive task force is focused on improving the company's global workplace practices and advancing the importance of the role of women in Disney's marketplace efforts. At ESPN, it was launched as a blog in 2012. ESPNW is now an exclusive multimedia community for women sports fans across the world. There are other diversity initiatives. Ali Program. In 2012, ESPN's LGBT Employee Network Equal launched the Ally Program that saw the company's straight employees join Equal to help foster a workplace at ESPN where LGBT employees are accepted, included and supported. The US Hispanic Initiative was a company worldwide priority that recognized the US Hispanics as one of the largest domestic growth opportunities for Disney and brought to life the role of diversity in bringing relevance in the marketplace. The Disney Wetners Institute is an initiative taken by the company to organize seminars and workshops to share knowledge and tools with the other companies to help them build their hiring programs for veterans. Thus, in this module, students, we have learned the relevance of diversity in today's globally competitive environment, the advantage of diversity, Multiculturalism was also shared and discussed. We have understood that multiculturalism is an ongoing process that unleashes the various talents and capabilities of a diverse population within an organization, community or society so as to create a wholesome, inclusive environment that is safe for difference, celebrates diversity, enables the people to reject rejection and maximize the full potential of all in a cultural context where everybody benefits. Thank you.